just give this apple juice bottle a quick makeover. Keep watching. Supplies you're going to need are a brown and a copper spray paint and an apple juice bottle. This one has leaves on it, so I thought it would be cute. So we have brown and metallic copper, and I'll put the links in the bottom. I actually chose to use, instead of the copper spray paint, I've chosen to use the copper paint. So I've already turned the bottle upside down and gave it a good spray of the brown, and you can see that it's kind of flecked heavier in some areas than others. You can kind of see the light shining through it, and I've not put any on the top particularly on the top part of it, except what was kind of an overspray from the brown paint. So I'm gonna use copper there. Just gonna put a little bit in. I don't wanna waste this paint. And I could not believe how gorgeous and bright it came out. I thought it would take several coats, but man, you can see here, it really comes on strong. is a thrifted little tin that I use for my paint. I have lots of those and then this is a Dollar Tree paintbrush. So I'm just going to go around the neck and the top part of the bottle and have it kind of feathered down into the brown. So that's what I'm kind of aiming for. I've never used metallic paints like this and certainly not on glass so I wasn't really sure how it would stick but it it really did a good job on this glass. Very happy with this paint. And so I'm just kind of flicking it down and trying to give it a decent coverage. Some spots look a little bit heavier than others, but I'm okay with that. See the leaf print is so cute. I thought that if we use the brown and the copper, it might actually look kind of like earthenware or like a jar or a jug instead of glass. I think I accomplished that. You'll see in the end. And you can decide and let me know what you think. Now, I already had all the paints on hand. I just bought the juice for my son. He drank the juice out of it. And then I had the bottle, which was going to be thrown into the trash. So I got to use it. And now it's part of my fall decor, as you'll see shortly. So it took just one coat of paint. And I'm gonna let that dry, and I had lots of things to do, so I let it dry for several hours until I came back down. And it was perfectly dry. No bubbles, no streaks, no scratches. I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I was kind of shocked. It looks really nice to me. And to me, it looks like something that you could buy in a, you know, in like at home store or something like that, especially after I put my little Dollar Tree pick down in it and it really looks nice. I thought that these colors would complement the copper and the brown, so this is the one I chose. Just bending it with my hand and then pinching it with my pliers so that it will fit nicely down into my little vase or my jug. Oop, I lost a berry there. This is how it turned out, and I think it is really nice for what it is. It's just an upcycle, something simple. It didn't take me long to do. It definitely didn't cost a lot of money. And it's pretty. What do you think? I bet you have some bottles laying around your house that maybe you could do this with. A bottle, a jar. Thanks for subscribing and for watching my videos and sharing. Keep the comments coming and we've got home tours coming up very soon. Bye.